outside and you protest, and then the company or the individual say, I hear you. What do we do next? I mean, I think that, you know, he could have reached out to Colin. Uh, he could have reached out to me. <laughs> okay. I think we passed kneeling. Some of the ways that, you know, he answered his questions, talking about we're moving past kneeling, like he would, like he ever protested, whatever. He's not an NFL player. He's never been on a knee. I think everyone knows what the issue is. <laughs> and we're, we're done with that. You know, just choosing to speak for the people like he had spoken to the people. Kenny Stills has been outspoken and honest. I, I take the couple people that have texted me saying they're proud over the, the people that are bashing me on the internet. He's criticized his team's owner. We've, we've had plenty of private conversations. And, um, you know, through his statement, you see, you know, his loyalty to his friend. And I, I understand and respect that. But the, the two things don't align when it comes to the nonprofit and then holding this fundraiser for that man. Yet his team's head coach said, I talked to Kenny. I asked him why he didn't talk to the owner, why he didn't talk to Steve Ross first before putting something out. And I think that's something that we have to do more of. An indicator, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. Of note, Stills is well respected, no greater evidence than being awarded the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award twice, which recognizes an NFL player for outstanding community service activities off the field as well as excellence on. So after his comments on Hove, his own coach doesn't have his back. Flores used a different tactic, playing eight straight Jay-Z songs at Dolphins practice. One must assume the DJ is anti-Stills, pro Jay-Z, which is not true. Dolphins say Brian Flores picks songs for practice. As Dave Zirin wrote, it was an apparent attempt to embarrass Stills in front of the team and the press, although the organization in damage control mode made clear to reporters that this was all much ado about nothing. Then Flores gave his explanation. I told them that I support him. I support Kenny, I support, uh, you know, the player protests. Deeply flawed, here's why. Recall that quote of Stills being a distraction. Flores now made himself a distraction by blasting eight straight Jay-Z songs. Objectively speaking, this is a hypocritical point of view. Second, let's recall Flores' reflection of how his life story connects to Kenny Stills. I got him in front of the team. I told them that I support Kenny. I support Kenny. I support, uh, you know, the player protests. They're bringing attention to, to my story. So let's talk about that. If Flores supported his players and sees said reflection in those protesting, why did he not support them in the first place and tell Stills to stay muted? Or in his own words, keep your thoughts in house. That's playing both sides which is not needed for the cause. There's no middle ground for this movement. To Stills' credit, he took the high road. We talked about it in-house and he handled it in-house, but yeah, for the most part, I think it was just, uh, you know, him trying to see if I could handle, uh, you know, this, if, if, you know, somebody was gonna heckle me or play Jay-Z music in another stadium, if I was gonna be mentally strong enough to, uh, you know, withstand that type of, you know, treatment, I guess. But, um, you know, I've been dealing with this for, since 2016, music, booze, uh, racial slurs. So uh, I don't think a little bit of Jay-Z is gonna really ruffle my feathers that bad. Head coaches, like humans, make mistakes. It's what makes us simply human. To test stills through the method of trolling is mundane, it's amateur, and it's something Xbox Live has empowered. Stills has faced death threats for his cause. He's faced his career potentially ending for a silent protest. One would equate those challenges laid before him as succeeding through adversity. The last person on the planet who should not have his back is his coach. People's behavior makes sense if you think about it in terms of their goals, needs, and motives, said Thomas Mann. Flores, like a politician, saw the reaction to his prior statements and has now publicly switched sides. Why? because the court of public opinion determined his decision. Damage control indeed, but maybe the damage is already done.